Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Today we we're focusing on three strategies that are probably the best or some of the best at Town Hall 12. So let's go take a look. What's going on guys? It's your boy Echo and I want to remind you guys to use code Echo in the shop whenever you're buying gems, your season pass or any packs inside of Clash of Clans. But let's start things out right now telling you that we're over here in black and yellow. We have Cold Donkey starting out this first attack. And the last time we were over here in black and yellow, we focused on those witch spam and witch bat spam attacks. And right here, we have something similar, but being used at Town Hall 12. Cold Donkey utilizing the lightning spells and the earthquake spells to remove, to completely take out those multi-target Inferno Towers. Then he's gonna come in with the spam. Notice the two golem, actually three golem leading the way. We have a log launcher behind. And then the heroes, the Grand Warden, and a whole bunch of witches. What's happening right here is the base is going to be spammed out. But in these attacks, notice there's three healers as well. So those three healers are going to be used to kind of heal up the batch, right? To let the healers, the, the king, the queen, the warden, and all of those witches get some uh, benefit from those heal spells. And here they go. The uh, Or actually those healers, not those heal spells. Unfortunately... The healers there keeping along the outside of the base with a couple of witches. Good thing though is that the queen's over there as well. Into the core of the base, we have the witches going and we have a poison spell dropped right on top of those balloons. Gotta love witches because they will attack anything in the air or on the ground. So you don't have to worry about running into something like a bunch of balloons and electro dragon dragons. The witches should be able to take care of them, especially if you have a poison spell intact and like who doesn't? Everyone brings poison spells to these parties, so. If you're not, well, you definitely should no matter what. Now, we have the, uh, I mean, the base is already crushed. It's already crumbled. There's not much left. You do have the town hall, but that's being taken down by the skeletons, by the witches. Really, the skeletons are what are tanking the town hall. The witches are going through. We had a P.E.K.K.A. in there as well. I guess we had a P.E.K.K.A. inside of the log launcher helping to chop down those walls along the backside. Queen's ability is intact. Love the use of the skin. Hopefully they decide to use code Echo when they bought their season pass to get that skin. Hmm. Did you, Cold Donkey? Did you use code Echo? I surely hope so. But I do always love coming over here to Black and Yellow because they got some good stuff at a variety of Town Hall levels. And you guys know that I really kind of spread myself around to multiple Town Hall levels. If you guys want to see more Clash of Clans, I want you in the comment section below to write more Clash of Clans. That'll tell me that you want to see more Clash of Clans. Makes sense. And Loop the Bold is here. A different attacker, a different strategy, a different base, a different war, but the same Town Hall level coming in with the Drag Bat strategy. Not waiting either, knowing that dragons are slow. Looks like Loop wants to get in there nice and early. The two Electro Dragons on the western side of the base to funnel those dragons into the rest of the base. You have the Grand Warden supporting on air with those balloons. It's a drag loon with the bat wave on the back side, so it's basically a drag bat. Yeah, that's what we call this thing. Now, there are five freeze spells as well. Gotta love the freeze spells on here. A blimp going straight for the Town Hall. Will it get to the Town Hall or is it going to be stopped in the Inferno Towers? It looks like he's going to take it all the way to that Town Hall. Rage spell dropped as well. What are we going to see? A dra What? What's even in there? It's a Yeti bomb inside of that as well. I oh, I usually like to see like balloons and a dragon, but going in with the Yeti bomb just to ensure that it gets taken down. The bats weren't even needed on this. Literally, well, how many? I don't even know how many bats were in that composition, but they weren't needed to three-star this base. Loop crushing this one with Drag Bat in record time. That was like a minute and a half long attack. How many bat spells? Six bat spells, not even needed. Five free spells, you didn't even need all those either. Really solid attack. The final attack strategy is P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bat. It's your P.E.K.K.A.s going into the base, the bowlers following behind, then batting the back side of the base. We're seeing a lot of bat spells being used over here in black and yellow, which, you know, you think that bats are kind of gone, not really used much in the meta. And then you come on over here and you see them used all over the place, and I love it. I love it how the bats are being used in multiple different strategies. We have the king coming on in to uh, basically funnel down this western side of the base. The electro dragon's getting the job done over there on the northern side of the base. And we can anticipate the peck is coming right on in here by the queen. We got the... Oh, no! Healers! Healers leaving the queen! Okay, major threat made a major mistake right there. 
having the attack start of dropping the healers in before the queen took any damage. Now we have these healers. They're going to be crushed, but they're still going to be able to get this done. Will the healers turn themselves around or is the king going to take those healers for a ride around the outside of the base? Looks like he is. So even on this attack, with a major mistake. Those healers are all supposed to be going into the center of the base with the bowlers, with the peckers, with the queen, with whatever comes out of the log launcher, which looks like to be an ice golem, maybe some more bowlers as well, or a pekka ice golem combination. Wow. Yet the healers are still up and keeping that king up as well. I'm really su surprised to see those healers living so long. It actually helped the king keep himself up. But now the bats are coming in from the western side of the base as well. Peckabo bats, a strategy we've been seeing used for a very long time in Clash of Clans. Still really strong here at Town Hall 12. Also does a really nice job at Town Hall 11 as well. Look at the bat value. Call it value if you want. There's no more splash damage. Going to use that freeze on the air defense? Or is he? Yes, he is. And then the bats can help clean things up. Notice, though, the Pekkas, the bowlers... They didn't last very long in the center of the base because they were missing those, those healers. Brutal mistake. But, cleaned it up. And you know what? We just looked at three strategies that are really solid right now at Town Hall 12. But how about, how about we go in and do a live attack at Town Hall 14 with me? And I'll use hybrid. I think it sounds fun. By the way, bats take forever to get through storages. Don't tell me I didn't tell you. That was with help from a P.E.K.K.A. as well. Oh, look at that. There's another reminder to use code ECHO. But I'm ready to go into an attack, so we're going to see what we can find here in Titans League for me. A live attack for you guys. You, you always say you want live attacks, so I'm going to try. Hope you guys throw a thumbs up in the video as well as the more Clash of Clans as you comment it down below because I need as much luck as I can get right now going into a live hit. And what's up with these clouds and this base? Let's find something better. All right, I kind of like this base. It's upgrading the Town Hall. Honestly, this is a very new Town Hall 13, but it's got a good amount of Dark Elixir and a good amount of Elixir. So we're going to go ahead and go after this one. We're going to go with the Queen with one Coconut Loon, then the Healer's Log Launcher. We're going to go with the Baby Dragon over here and the King over here, trying to set a funnel so the Queen will actually go into the base. Let's see if we can get her to path properly here. A lot of times she doesn't. All right, a lot of times she has a mind of her own, at least for me, like right now. Come on, Queen, get in there. We want the log launcher to at least beat down the eagle a little bit. Queen, she has to cut back into the base. The point here that I like to do is I like to kind of take it easy. We're going to pop the king, go with another balloon right here. We're going to rip... Uh-oh, the queen, she's walking around the base. Ex oh, wait, wait. Is she going to pull herself back in? Yeah, she is. We're going to go with the rage spell there. Hopefully we could... Yeah, come on. We're going to go like this. We're gonna have to pop a freeze. Boom, nice, that worked out well. We're gonna go with another rage on the queen and those healers. We're gonna have to go with another freeze spell, I think. And you know what? I think I'm gonna go in with the hybrid a little bit early because I'm not happy with how that queen path whatsoever. Warden, champion, all the hog riders. We have another freeze. We're gonna drop it right here. Keep that queen up. We're gonna go heal up everything because it just got slammed with the eagle. I always love taking down the eagle artillery first. But I didn't take it down first this time. We did not get that done. We're going to come on up, pop the Grand Warden again. Everyone's invincible right now. But my healers are being crushed by the Inferno Tower. That's not good. Oh, we got to go with a heal spell right here. Hopefully we can help take down that Inferno. We're getting the Dark Elixir at least. Oh my goodness. Things are not going as planned here, guys. Go with a Poison Spell on top of the Queen or Champion. I can't even see what it is. Oh, we oh no, my Queen's going to go down. Oh, she popped her ability. Her ability's up. She takes down the town hall. Wow, okay, that was uh, better than I had hoped. We are out of everything. I can literally just sit back and watch. The miners, can they get on top of the scatter? They did. The scatter shot could very well go down because remember, when you're on top of the scatter shot, the scatter shot cannot attack you. Okay, well, we got most of the dark out. That's all that matters. Your thumbs up that you put down below, they worked. So thank you guys for that. Even if we don't pull in the triple, which we should have. My queen just went the wrong way. Pathing. you think I'd have pathing down by now. But my queen did have a mind of her own. The warden's shooting from afar. Gonna drink up all that elixir, which is pretty sweet. And it's just, that's gonna be it. We're gonna get all the loot out of the base, though. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, more Clash of Clans down below if you want to see more Clash of Clans. And come back for the next video that we have very soon. And if you missed the other stuff out of black and yellow... That was the other day's video.
So go check it out on the main page of the channel because it was good. Have a great day, guys, and be good.